Hello, and welcome to another episode of Success Coaching for a Better World. My name is Manny Nowak, and as always, it's a pleasure to have you here today and to be here to talk about success. If you haven't been with us, well, I'd like to welcome you. If you have, I'd really like to welcome you back because last week we started talking about success and we listed those 10 things that you need to look at. Today I want to concentrate on the 2080 rule, which you may have heard as the 8020 rule, but we'll call it the 2080 rule because really that's what it is. If you look at almost any business in America today, you'll see this thing called the 2080 rule for sales. 20% of your customers produce 80% of your revenue. Which means that 80% of your customers produce only 20% of your revenue. And further, 80% of your time is spent on that on the customers that only produce 20% of your revenue. Now, just think about that for a minute. You 20% of your time is spent on the customers. They're producing 80% of your revenue. Why don't you get more of them? That's what we're going to talk about. Many times we know the 2080 rule and we just accept it. Yeah, I know that, but that's just the way business is. Yeah, um, that's just what happens. There's not much I can do about it. That's the way it is. Well, I want to tell you something. It's garbage, because that's not true. But just take some time and answer these four simple questions. What's wrong with the picture? Why doesn't it work? What can you do about it? And how can I correct it? And then look even a dip, bit deeper and say, this 20%, why can't I get more of those? We're going to call those the ideal customer because they're producing four-fifths of your revenue. Your business will grow tremendously if you can increase those customers. With that in mind, let's look at a simple yet effective formula that's going to took, take a look at two pieces that you can fix. First, identify who are the customers in that 20% that are producing that 80% of your revenue. Who are they? How did you get them? How did they become customers of yours? How come they produce so much revenue, yet you have all these other customers that don't? What else do you know about them? Find out what makes them different from the other customers. What makes them such a key element to your business? That's the information you need to gather. And once you have that, then you can figure out, okay, what do I do now? What customers in the 80% are similar to them, but not doing that much business with us? In other words, let's look at our customer base before we go outside. So you got this 20%. How much of the 80% are similar, are like customers, but they aren't doing that much business with us? Why are they similar? And yet, why are they like the 20% but not doing much business with us? That's the first question that you have to answer. And the second thing that you do there is you have to ask yourself, how do I get them into that? The key point to remember is that many of your customers may be buying from you and your competition as well. And I know you're probably aware of that. But you do, do you know that maybe they're buying 10000 a year and you're selling them 2000 Maybe they're buying a million a year and you're selling them less than 100000 
if you work them, could you increase your sales to them? Of course you can. These people are people that already know you. They already know what you produce. They're already doing business with you. All you have to do is get them to buy some more from you. And you'll be simply amazed. When I walk into a new organization, whether I'm walking in there as a sales or executive or the CEO, or I'm walking in there as a consultant, the first thing I'll do is I always look at sales and I say, how much more business can I get from my existing customers? You will be amazed. I have walked into organizations and increased sales over 80% just by selling more to my existing customer base. Think about it. It's amazing what you could do. So, now you got a profile of those customers and you're working your 80% to try to find more of them in, within customers you're already doing business with. Now let's go outside and say, okay, this is what my ideal customer looks like. Where else are they? in industry, in, in your market, in your geographic location, where else and who else are customers like these? Companies that you're not doing business with but are very similar to the best customers you have. Now let's go out and let's use our marketing and sales program and go after them. That's it. That's it. Take it the 80% you're doing little business with, increase what you're doing. Profile the 20% you're doing most of your business with and go find more of them. Do those two things this year and your sales will grow unbelievable. Stop spending so much time, effort, and energy on the wrong customers. On customers that are just plain and simple, never going to be there. Now, here's the math for you financial people. Since 80% of your sales comes from just 20% of your client, that means each percentage point is worth 4% of your sales. 80 divided by 20. Thus, if you take and get 1% more of customers like that 20%, you're going to increase sales 4%. So think about it. If you just got 5% more of those customers, your sales just went up 20%. That alone is amazing. Go out and do it. Work the right customers. Work the right prospects. Work the 2080 rule and watch what happens. If you need some help, call. This is one thing I do for my customers. My name is Manny Nowak, 856-358-4021. 856-358-4021. On the web at www.mannynowak.com. That's M-A-N-N-Y. N O W A K. Manny Nowak. M A N N Y N O W A K dot com. And the email, of course, is just Manny at Manny Nowak dot com. As always, my pleasure. Go out this week, start working the 2080 rule, and watch what happens. Thank you.